Subscribe to Get Curried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Generally, when we think of dishes with meat or chicken, perceptionally we think it's going to take a lot of efforts. But today, I'm going to show you baked chicken wings with just five ingredients and minimal efforts. Hey guys, this is Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. For chicken wings, of course, I'm going to use chicken wings. Now they look something like this for the ones who've not seen it before. Now these are divided into three parts. There's a little bit of a shoulder end, there's the real chicken wing, and then there's a little bit of a winglet. You can choose to cut it, you can retain it. That is completely your choice. But what is important is to absolutely clean it well. There are a little bit of follicles here and there which you need to pluck and remove. Very, very important because you do not want that to come in anyone's mouth. Now, for the sauce to steep in or for the marination to steep right within, what I'm gonna do is stab it a little. What I'm gonna use is a fork to do that so that you kind of create such pockets. Now, as simple as that. After cleaning this, washing this, and poking this with a fork, the next step is to dab this completely dry so that the marination kind of sticks on top of this. Wipe it well, dry it completely, and keep this aside. Similarly, let's start with the other chicken wings. Another alternate step is to use a sharp knife and poke it like so. You can choose whichever step you wish or whichever you think is safe for you to work in the kitchen with. The chicken wings are patted dry and ready. Let's move this aside. Let's move on to the marination. The marination is going to be sticky, it's going to be sour, it's going to be garlicky and spicy. To make it nice, sticky and sweet, I'm going to use some honey. Well, you can use some maple, you can use some molasses, brown sugar, that's your choice. To this, for some souring and something salty, I'm using dark soy sauce. Well, by using soy sauce, it also takes away the need of adding additional salt. So it's very important. For some spice, heat and flavor, I'm adding in red chili oil. Very, very important an ingredient because the punch of this recipe actually depends on this one single ingredient. To this, let's add in some garlic paste. Mix this well and you'll notice and realize that this is converted into a nice and thick liquid and that is going to stick all over the chicken wing and make it beautiful. The next thing that goes in are the chicken wings. We need to mix this well and if you have some time at hand, you can keep this to marinate or rest. 15 minutes, half an hour, overnight, choice is yours. Once the chicken wings are marinated, the next step is to transfer these on a baking tray. Let's glaze these wings with half the sauce that's remaining. Well, now five minutes of your hard work and 40 minutes of the oven doing all its effort. This needs to be cooking for the first 20 minutes. We need to baste it again and cook it for a further 20 minutes. A total of 40 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. The chicken wings have been basted twice. They've been baked for 40 minutes. And now if you see, they've converted into this nice, sticky, crunchy and crisp baked chicken wings. Try making this in your own home kitchens and trust me, you'll stop buying from outside because these are not just tasty, but made under five ingredients. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get carried.